Okay, we'd like to demonstrate the hydrogen pulse width generator 1003.4 AT, which has an automatic temperature control. This unit has very interesting features built into it that are not found in any other units. This pulse width generator has an electronic circuit incorporated into the unit and has the capability of monitoring the cell temperature with an external temperature sensor mounted on the cell. When the cell reaches the preset temperature which you have set with the temperature control located on the front panel in the center, a red light indicator will come on and other features will also be automatically activated. This PWM with automatic temperature control will help you to gain full control over your cell and prevent overheating. I will briefly go over some of the controls. The power light indicator which is located in the upper left hand corner and the first control is used to set the pulse width. It has an off-on switch incorporated with it. This control allows you to vary the amperage going to your hydrogen cell. This is adjustable from 0 to 100 percent. The next control is the variable temperature control. This variable temperature control is used to set the temperature at which you want to automatically activate the other preset controls. This includes the red temperature light which is located above it. Right now it's green because it's in the normal operating mode. It includes a variable cutback control and it also includes a 12 volt voltage supply which comes out of the back of the unit. When the temperature light is activated, you will have the option of having the PWM automatically cut back the hydrogen production to prevent overheating. I briefly demonstrate this by rolling the temperature switch back. If you watch the amp meter, you can vary the cut back. Okay, now we'll roll it forward back to the normal operating mode. And we'll next look at the status light. The status light is located above the cutback switch. The status light on the PWM will allow you to monitor the status of the hydrogen production. It will vary in intensity with the hydrogen production. If you watch closely, when hydrogen production first begins, it will light dimly. Continue to increase the hydrogen production and the light will continue to get brighter. The mode light located in the upper right hand corner is also used to monitor and assist in the PWM hydrogen production. A 12 volt output but it's located on the back of the unit, which you're not able to see, and it can handle up to 8 amps. When the temperature indicator light comes on, a 12 volt DC is supplied to the terminals on the back of the unit. This can turn on a pump, which can circulate the water through your hydrogen cell until it cools down. We currently have it connected to this fan so that we know when it is activated. When the unit cools down, the PWM will return to normal operation. The indicator light, located above the temperature light, will turn green. 12 volts, which is supplied to the back of the unit, will also automatically be switched off, and the hydrogen production will be restored to normal. Now let's do an actual demonstration. We'll start by turning the pulse width control up to the amount of hydrogen production that we would like to produce. Turn the temperature 
counterclockwise back until the temperature light comes on. Turn the cutback switch where you would like for it to cut back to when the temperature is activated. We will set it back on about 8 amps. Okay, now turn the temperature switch forward until the green light comes on and we'll let the unit run until the temperature is activated. When the temperature is activated the red light will come on, the amps will be cut back to approximately 10 amps where we set it and the fan will activate because the 12 volts DC on the back of the unit will, will be applied. So now we'll wait for our cell to heat up. Okay, the temperature light is activated. It is turned red. The amperage is cut back to about 8 amps where we set it and the fan is activated. Which means the 12 volts applied to the back of the unit is turned on. When the unit cools down the unit will go back into the normal operating mode. The temperature light will turn green. The amperage will return, it just did, back up to 30 amps for the normal operating temperature and the 12 volt DC which was applied will turn off.